Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, following the uh, very detailed presentations, my presentation is actually AI 101. So coming from the technology aspect, whatever the preventive maintenance aspect, I'm, talk to you, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about where AI, AI is today, what is AI, and how it integrates with PMs and uh, predictive maintenance. So very quick slide. Uh, the slide is talking about the traditional of predictive maintenance where it started you know, with paper, it moved to regular computers, moved to digitalization, cloud-based, mobile-based, um, algorithms for predictive. So people were starting to notice trends and putting the trends in the computers. And now where we are is AI enhanced. Um, AI is being used. Some people are just starting. Some people are using existing product. I wanna briefly define AI and read what the definition of AI, because that's very important. In industrial world, AI is the deployment of algorithms, models, and systems to enable machines to do the tasks that typically are done by human beings. So it's more than just algorithms and, 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 and software that predicts it, it's things that typically you would require a human being to do. AI currently has four components. The first one is dealing with image processing and computer vision. It's actually pretty good. The technology out there is pretty good in, in taking images and pictures and videos and analyzing them and reading them, as we saw before. The second thing is natural language processing. Again, taking the, um, taking the text-based data, analyzing it, analyzing log, uh, organizing and optimizing documents. All of this can be done very well by AI today. Machine learning, which is a very important component with predictive maintenance, and I'm going to talk in the next slide about um, you know, garbage in, garbage out. Machine learning, meaning that the AI engine takes data that it captured before and uses it to predict and to process future data. So for predictive maintenance, the input over time for machine learning is critical for the system to work properly because if the data is not properly fed into AI, your predictions actually can be wrong and AI do make mistakes. And the last thing for industrial is um, robotics where robots can, uh, can perform uh, complex processes. Um, in predictive maintenance and, and, and maintenance in general, there is a number of components. Data acquisition, where's the data coming from? It could be manual, it could be via sensors, it could be via you know, IoT devices, via drones, via uh, external, such as um, weather. This is very important that all the data sources that go into an AI, an AI is, is properly analyzed and carefully filtered. So the information that goes in is very accurate. Data analysis, a lot of existing algorithms, some of which are an existing predictive uh, maintenance software, which based on graphs, based on readings, can predict certain things. This was AI, the analysis of AI really helps and really improves it. And then continuous ev uh, evolution of AI, triggered maintenance, triggered activity as a result of AI analysis. Um, and again, machine learning is very important. So again, AI 101, um, image analysis. Image analysis is actually quite good in many AI engines. Um, both in terms of video and in terms of, of image capture. It can analyze it, it can uh, predict things as, as what it sees from it. And that can definitely be um, taking into a part of your predictive maintenance uh, algorithm. Natural language processing is also very accurate and very strong. You can provide to AI tons of information, it'll analyze it properly. Um, and then machine learning, uh, very important that the sources, what goes in, is being used to learn. So your predictive maintenance need to be very well protected with the data sources of information. Uh, current limitations, garbage in, garbage out. Anybody who works with, with AI knows that sometimes you get an answer out of the blue that is completely not accurate. So um, very important with the sources. Math challenges, current AI engines are not that good with math. It's called tokenization. So. The way AI analyzes data, it breaks it into little tokens and it takes the tokens and processes them. When it does it with math, there's still work to be done with AI engines to improve that. So, so math will get better. And then um, factual errors, um, we have seen multiple times where we thought AI would do something simple and predict something and just the, the, the analysis is just wrong. Um, future, um, 
Definitely AI is moving fast. It used to, used to say that every two years, the information in the world doubles. With AI, everything moves fast. The improvements of AI engines is astonishing. And I suspect in the next three to five years, we're going to have uh, AI engines that can, can deal with all of those uh, shortcomings that we've seen. Um, sorry, five minutes. I can't dive into any more. But thank you very much. Just on time. Um, and enjoy your afternoon.